back to the grind with the only free MMA channel that fucking matters full time MMA. And I just watched uh, the post fight press conference with Michael Chiesa. And he was saying uh, how. Oh man, first of all, this is interesting, okay, because whenever I was watching the fight, I thought I saw Michael Chiesa go limp. As in, he was fighting the hands at first. And then it looked like he stopped fighting the hands, and it looked like he stopped defending, and then Mario Yamasaki called it off. Now, as soon as Mario Yamasaki called it off, he did jump back up. It did look like he was not out after the, after the ref stopped it. But when the ref stopped the fight, I felt like, I mean, you know, I'm not a fucking ref. This is from my camera angle, from what I'm watching on my screen. It looked like Michael Chiesa went limp. So that's why I was fine with the stoppage. Now listening to Michael Chiesa afterwards at the post-fight fight press conference, he actually sounded like he was defending the choke. He said, well, he, I mean, I fucking can't even go into everything, he, but he, he explained it really well. But he was saying he was shrugging his shoulders. One thing I will say about that is it looked like the choke was in. So shrugging your shoulders doesn't seem like it's going to help defend a choke that's sunk under your chin. Now if the choke wasn't sunk in and you're, and you're shrugging your shoulders, it seems like that would help pop your head out of the choke. But if the choke is sunk under your neck, shrugging your shoulders just seems like it's going to put more pressure on the choke. So I mean, I'm not watching the replay right now, but I'm from what I remember yesterday, the choke was sunk in. So, I'm still leaning toward the choke was in, uh, th I mean, and even if not, this is the thing, even if not, like, Michael Case is all pissed off, he's literally talking about telling the Mario Yamasaki to go crawling, he's doing all the right things, like, to get the rematch and stuff, it, but I just kinda, I'm cringing a little bit, cause I know there's a lot of people that, that feel like it was stopped early, and it might have been stopped a little early, but, I mean, god dang, that happened. It's fighting, dude. There's the ref. You know how hard it is to be a ref, or a judge, all these different types of things. I mean, one thing I'll say that I was gonna say a second ago is how you shouldn't have had been in that position. You know what do they always say? You know, don't don't let the fight go to the judges. Don't let the fight go to don't don't let the fight get close enough to, for the ref to stop it early. You know what I'm saying? They always say that to everybody. You don't let him get in that position. Michael Case is talking about, I don't care if Mario Yamasaki is the ref for our next two fights. Because I'm not going to let it even be close. I'm not going to let it be close. And it's like, how, what, what do you mean? How, how are you going to stop Kevin Lee from getting in the exact same position as he got in this first fight? And y Yamasaki doing the exact same thing. It's not like it went to the decision and you're like, oh, next time I'm going to finish him. He, Kevin Lee just was... Really, he was, he was beating Michael P Chiesa. He got out of Michael Chiesa's grappling. Then he started dominating Michael Chiesa in the grappling. He had in, he had in the body triangle for dang near two minutes. He had the choke s sunk in. I mean, even if it was an early stoppage, he was dominating the fight at that point. So, I mean, you got to address the whole... the Aside from the early stoppage, you got to address the fact that Kevin Lee was... was giving you everything you asked for you know what I'm saying so man I don't know I mean I would definitely be fine with the rematch I would even be fine if they came and ruled this thing a no contest I wouldn't care I mean I would I would be fine with the rematch but I would see if they, if they he said he's going to appeal it and if they deny the appeal I would understand that if they overturn the appeal I would understand that I would be fine with either one but from my honest opinion Whenever the fight was stopped, I was fine with it. Michael Chiesa, he's saying all the right things. I mean, he convinced me a little in the post-fight speech. Like, okay, maybe he was defending, but then, the, but then the game, when I think about it, if the choke was in, man, the choke was in. Like, it looked, I don't know how shrugging your shoulders is going to help you get out of a choke that's on your neck, under the, under the chin. That just seems like it's putting more pressure on the choke. But, like I said, I'm not a fucking fighter. I'm not a fucking, you know, analyst, so that, but... That just seems like common sense to me. But I don't know what else to say, man. This is interesting. It is interesting. I'm definitely down with the rematch. I'm fine with the rematch. I mean, it seems like Khabib, Tony Ferguson, and Nate Diaz are all going to be tied up. The only other match for my, uh, Kevin Lee is Edson Barboza. And, I mean, there will definitely be more drama storyline and, and, I don't know, just more magnitude to the Michael 
Kiesa Kevin Lee rematch than uh, Edson Barboza fight, but we need to get Edson Barboza a fight because it's like nobody wants to fight him because it's like, I don't know, if it's because he don't have a high stock or what. No one wants to fight Edson Barboza. It's just like, I'd rather fight someone. I think it's because there's so many lightweights with a big name in the top five. Like, literally, one through six all have buzz except for Edson Barboza. Nate Diaz, Conor McGregor, uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov, Tony Ferguson, Kevin Lee, like they've all got a buzz, but no one, and not Edson Barboza, so it's like they all want to, I don't know, I don't know how Edson Barboza is going to get a buzz, or maybe that, that'll that help, I don't know, but they're just going to have to put someone to Edson Barboza because he needs a fight, and it's like no one wants to fight him right now, and it's not like even, it's not even like they're scared, it's just they, there's so much buzz going around, people are trying to fucking position themselves for money fights and shit. And I ain't mad at it, man. There's a lot of big fights to be made at lightweight, and I'd like to see a lot of them. I'd like to see Kevin Lee versus fucking Khabib. Kevin Lee versus Kiesa, too. I'd like to see Khabib versus Ferguson. Ferguson versus Lee. All, like, there's all, all of these lightweights I would like to see matched up. But this Kevin, this Michael Kiesa situation right here, it's interesting, man. Like, whenever I was watching the post-fight press conference, he made a lot of good, a lot of good points. But at the same time, it definitely felt like... He was, uh, it, it was crossing the excuse territories. Like, he made valid points. And one thing I'll say is, uh, Kevin Lee did throw a couple 12 to 6 elbows. Now, if you want to, you know, if, if you want to go with the, uh, oh, he, you know, I mean, so if the ref didn't see it, man, if the ref don't see it, you fight on. That's like if someone throws a kick to the nuts and the ref don't see it. You don't appeal the loss afterward and say, oh, the ref didn't see the kick to the nuts. You only do that if, you know, you're trying to cheese out a win or something. But the ref, the ref didn't see the 12 to 6 elbow, and it, I mean, when I was watching, it looked like the ref was looking right at him, but he didn't catch it, didn't call it. I mean, and it wasn't like, uh, actually, he, he he called it, but it, Kevin Lee, as soon as he realized, he stopped doing it. Like, oh, oh shit, my bad. You know, he only threw one or two of them, maybe three. It, it wasn't significant. It wasn't like he used it to advance position. It wasn't like he was using it to, I mean, he was already had Michael Case's back at that point, body lock in and shit, so... Uh, yeah, the ref didn't see it, man, so, I mean, I'm not gonna call Kevin Lee a dirty fighter just because of that, and uh, Michael Chiesa, this is, he did that, and now that reminded me of something Michael Chiesa said, he said, I'm, I even heard he was a dirty fighter, I mean, he, I heard he was throwing 12 to 6 elbows, I mean, I'm not here to complain about that, but I heard he was a dirty fighter, like, man, either call him a dirty fighter or don't bring it up, what do you mean, if he was throwing 12 to 6 elbows, Call him a dirty fighter. Don't, I heard he was a dirty fighter. Like, you're just trying to put the word out there to all your fans to start calling him a dirty fighter. Like, I see what you're doing, man. But I don't know, man. I'm, I think I'm going to rock with Kevin Lee on this one because, you, you you know, hindsight's 2020. You can't go back. You can't go back after the fact and say, oh, man, it's all the ref's fault. Like, you shouldn't have been in that position. You shouldn't have allowed. You're the su supposed to be the superior grappler. You had uh, the better grappling position. You gave it up, and then you allowed Kevin Lee not only to, to to start grappling you, dude. So you shouldn't even have been in the position for the ref to think you were going out. Cause even if you would have got out of the choke, who's to say you would have won the fight? It ain't like you were winning, and then the ref uh, had did the early stoppage. It ain't like you were winning, and then he got you in a choke, and the ref called it off early, and it was like, what the fuck, dude? I was about to win the fight. No, you were kind of getting your ass kicked. And then you started getting choked out, and the ref kind of stopped the fight. And you were like, damn, I wish I would have... You know, I see... Man, I don't know, man. This is... I don't know. I, I think I'm just going to have to ride with Kevin Lee. I mean, Michael Chiesa did sound good. He did sound like he was knew what he was talking about. He is going to appeal it. And like I said, I will be fine if the appeal is overturned. I'll be fine with the rematch. I'll be fine either way. But I just think I'm fine. I'm fine with that stoppage, man. I don't know what else to say. It is what it is. I got to fucking get to bed for work, dude. It's already late. Let the hitters know what the fuck you tap mad in the comments, dude.